Hey guys, with the release of DaVinci Resolve 18.5, I wanted to update some of my old videos on importing image sequences. And so over the years, DaVinci Resolve Blackmagic has changed things on how to import those image sequences. And they're really a powerful tool in DaVinci Resolve and Fusion. And so DaVinci Resolve can bring in DPX, EXR, JPEG image sequences, TIFF image sequences, and of course PNG. And really the most powerful feature of DaVinci Resolve is bringing in multi-channel EXR image sequences right into the Fusion page. And we can individually edit each multi-channel image for a sequence, and we can do a lot with compositing with that. But I'm gonna keep it really simple today. We're gonna to look at just bringing in a PNG image sequence. So I have a project here and I wanna add some 2D animation to this project. And I made a Congo River bin under my master. Let's open up Windows Explorer. I'm gonna grab this image sequence. I have all the images selected. They're all sequentially named. Drag and drop it into the media pool. And you can see it dragged and dropped every single one of these images separately and that's not at all what I wanted to do there so I'm just showing you the wrong way first so we can fix that control Z to get rid of that okay so let's go to this media tab right here in the bottom left corner you can also go to workspace up here and then switch to media page or hit shift and the number two to get there I'm going to click it down here. And so you can see up in the media storage settings, there's a toolbar up here and it has these three dots. Go ahead and click that and you'll see frame display mode. And its default is auto. You can also select individual or sequence. In this case, obviously I'm trying to bring in an image sequence. I want to use sequence. I will select that. Auto does not work so good. I just showed you that. So now I'll go back to the edit page and we're going to repeat the process of bringing in those images into the media pool bin here. And you can see now if I scrub through that, let's get that out of the way You can see that's a nice 2d animation and I can drag and drop that now right into my timeline in the edit page. And there's my animation. Cool. So I'm going to delete that and delete that. I want to show you something different now. So let's go back to the media page tab and I want to change those settings back to the default, back to auto. Actually, let's change it to individual just to really throw it off. Now back to the edit page. I'm going to show you the difference when we're using Fusion and it behaves quite a bit differently. So I have a Fusion comp there. I'll stretch it out, right click on it and say open in Fusion page. Now you can see my media out. And this time I'm going to open up this window again. I'm going to drag and drop my image sequence right into the flow area of the Fusion page. You can see that made one node there. I'll put that to the media out. And if I scrub through that up here in the timeline, you can see our image sequence was created successfully. We have a nice video there of all those images and it's going right to the media out and it goes back to the edit page, even though I had that set on individual. So like I said, fusion just behaves a little bit differently. Just keep that in mind. And the only way to bring in a single image or a group of images, what you need to do, um, so if you have a DSLR camera, for instance, sometimes it'll create the image names in a sequence and that gets very difficult if you just want to bring in a couple of images. So I'll have all these selected. If I hold down the shift key and I bring that image in, let's get rid of this one. So this time it just brought in a single image because I had shift held down or you can bring in multiple images. Or you can bring in multiple images, but if you select any in sequence, it's gonna bring those pieces in as an image sequence. So just keep that in mind. You've gotta bring in those in separately, holding down the shift key. 
So let's get this back out of the way. So really the power of DaVinci Resolve is utilizing those multi-channel EXR images and DaVinci Resolve will output those and then put those right into the Fusion page where you can do that really cool multi-channel compositing on an individual image basis and color correcting, whatever you wanna do. But in our case, we wanted to do that 2D animation. So just making those changes into the media tab here, up here in the settings, making sure that set on sequence will fix all your needs if you're having trouble getting the image sequences to come in as an actual animated clip or a movie, so to speak. So just make that change there. You won't have any trouble on the edit or cut pages bringing in those sequences. So this is working on DaVinci Resolve 18.5 beta. So hopefully Blackmagic will fix that auto selection a little bit better there where it comes in a little bit easier without having to change it, force it to the image sequence setting. But for now, that's the solution. So I wanted to update that for you guys. And I know I haven't posted for a while, but I think that's important information for DaVinci Resolve 18.5 where it stands. Thanks a lot for watching, checking out this video. I appreciate your time checking it out. Take care, everybody.